Yo yo yo! Welcome to Art Mental Game Codes Part Five. So, uh, as I said, this is a series about boosting your art mental game, right? So we all know art has two parts, right? The physical drawing part and the mental part, right? And the the mental part is missing in a lot of uh, information now. So this is what are we looking for to improve your art mind, right? To grow your art software in your head, right? Update it, patch it, whatever you say. So uh, I'm pretty stupid and dumb. So we're studying words from smarter people. And today, our boy is uh, Marcus Aurelius. So let's get into it. What does he know that could teach us about art? So, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Uh, as artists, we are always being think of uh, very negative and depressed people. That's true to a certain extent, because it's pretty hard to survive as an artist. And also, it's pretty hard to get people to understand you and respect your craft, right? Until a very long working threshold uh, at the end, at least, right? So, uh, certainly, uh, as a recovery person from a depression, I was pretty depressed for at least uh, five years of my life uh, upon a suicide level, right? So, uh, yeah, it's not uh, that thing of uh, depression is not alien to artists, right? And uh, it's a good feeling, actually. It's a good feeling, right? When you sink into the darkness of depression, you just feel comfortable inside, right? Just feel comfortable feeling sad, right? But instead, I invite you to change your thoughts, do the hard thing, be happy, right? Control the quality of your thoughts, upgrade your thoughts, right? Upgrade the software, right? Practice, because I believe that uh, happiness is a skill that you could train for, right? If uh, happiness is so important, why you're not devoting more resources to train for this skill, right? So instead, I challenge you to start practicing to be happy now and myself, of course. So, number one, upgrade the quality of your thoughts, which is positive, happy thoughts, right? Growing thoughts, number one. Number two, the object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane. Uh, you might think, right, all of my posts and stuff, hey Dean, Dino, these ideas of like thinking, framing your mind, right, controlling your thoughts, being the master of your mind, sounds a bit crazy, right? Yeah, sounds a bit crazy. Because I'm seeking to develop a mind of a great artist. It's not gonna sound sane to anyone, right? Any normal person, right? Great ideas always sound insane. If you want to know what a great and creative, creative ideas ultimately mean, right? They're gonna sound insane. Like, for example, imagine being the first person to explain what is the internet to people before the internet existed, right? People are gonna think you're crazy, you're insane. Like, people who communicate through what? Through the air? Through wires? Are you crazy, right? Impossible. So, new ideas are always gonna sound insane to people, and I am preaching for new ideas. So it's just normal, because it's actually good that I sound insane, because I'm not in the ranks of the majority. And the majority of people are stupid. Average people are stupid. So I don't want to be stupid. I want to be being able to adapt newer, better ideas, right? And you want to be insane to a certain extent. Vincent van Gogh is a great painter because he is insane. If you rem remove the insane part, it won't arguably won't be a great artist at the first place, right? So, number two, 
great and new ideas are always going to sound a bit insane. Number three. Losing is nothing else but change, and change is nature's delight. So uh, people nowadays, our educated system, our flawed system, right, is always making fun of losing and losing things. Like it's like a negative thing, right? You dissolve, uh, you did dissolve. Wow, you did divorce, right? You lose something. You fail in life. You didn't work well in projects, and. It's a very bad thing. The education or the culture teaches you, right? You should avoid it and look cool, right? Hey, yo, look cool, right? It doesn't look cool if you're losing things, but if you're avoiding losing things, you are avoiding nature, right? The nature of things are always changing, always losing things, always failing, right? Like it's just another term, right? You could be changing to the good or changing to the bad, right? This is fifty-fifty, vice versa, right? So、uh, people always try to keep you in line, right? To telling you, hey, be cool, don't fail, right? And using the majority pressure to control you. And as I said, the majority of people are stupid. Average people are stupid, right? We're not trying to be. We're trying to be a little bit smarter, right? So、uh, failing. And losing things are just as natural natural as the 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 air we breathe, right? So I'm glad that I failed a lot in art and life, and I'm very glad that I could say that I can't wait for tomorrow. I wake up and probably charge at the wall of art again, a wall of art again, right? To fight it again, right? Both works, right? War, war. And yeah, I will. Hit on that wall again, until as long as it's required for me to succeed, and I believe that that would be infinite, because you can't set a point on、uh, success. Success should be a ongoing process, right? So、uh, that's it for today. Very、uh, zen stuff, but、uh, hopefully I've learned a lot. Hopefully. Yeah,、uh, certainly I've learned more about、uh, life and art with these words from a smarter person. I hope you have、uh, benefited from this process as well. So as always, I'll see you guys later. And if you like more, you can click on the link onto my blog. And I'll see you guys next time.